I've been here for 18 years now and I have the responsibility track side of what we do during the race and qualifying. The course itself um, provided really the grounding that I needed to come here. What Crownfield provided me was a foothold in a number of different areas. It was a strong enough level, or at least the understanding that was a good enough baseline to then do the job that was required of me. It wasn't one thing. I worked a little bit in test and development, electronics and software development, and race engineering. And what was great about Crownfield is that we focused on around 10 to 11 different areas. Most of those are used within the first 12 to 24 months of being here within industry. I really enjoyed the composites and the structural modules because it was hands-on experience making up a, a wing out of composites and then we ended up destroying it and testing our designs. Another part which I didn't think I would enjoy was the electronics part but the staff in the electronics team really really helped me and it's now a key area that I work in at Mercedes. It's a very demanding course and because it's so demanding the employers will know that you'll be giving everything you've got the entire time and that gives you a good opportunity to get up to speed quickly and that combined with the solid technical underpinnings of the course really helps to make an employable candidate. During my time at Cranfield there are a lot of networking events where you get to meet people in the industry and motorsports and get talking to them and they can give you advice on what to do in your career and what kind of specialties you should focus on. One of the trips was to go to Silverstone Track where we got to take a Formula Ford around the track. A little bit scary but it was, it was pretty awesome and got to you to understand what it's actually like to drive the car rather than just being a spectator. The strength of Crownfield is that it has an extremely close link with industry. So even if I wasn't going to join Formula One, it has links in other areas of automotive industry that is strong enough that I could diversify and go elsewhere. And that link doesn't exist with many other universities. That's really the foundation by which Cranfield was, was built. In my role now, it's really nice because I still get to go back to Cranfield and work with the Impact Center and use all the same equipment that I was using during my studies. Not just that, but whilst we were based inside a motorsport subject, there were a number of different schools we interacted with, including aerodynamics and automotive. And for me, that created a more rounded student, a student that had a good practical basis as well. So we weren't just lost in theory, we did a huge amount of practical from memory, around about 40% of our time was actually employing some of the techniques that we learned. And that for me is what made Cranfield a strength. After finishing my undergrad, decided that I really did want to pursue a motorsport career. Um, in order to do that, I decided that getting a master's would be a good option for me. And Cranfield came out as one of the top recommended universities. In the end, that's worked out quite well for me. 